Um, hi, I'm, I am Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams, and I'm, I'm really excited about um, why we're here today, uh, the power of connectivity and the power of giving back. Um, this is a great group and a great organization that we set down with uh, Technologies for Families in Need called TechFin. Uh, we met with them uh, several months ago, and they shared with what they do. They, they take computers that corporate America uh, normally will toss out or donate somewhere else. Uh, they take those computers and they refurbish them and they give them to um, many of our young scholars so they can use them at home and as they go about carrying out their functions. Uh, it's almost impossible and I'm pretty sure um, our speakers, some of our scholars that's going, going to speak will tell you the impossibility of going through school and not having a home computer not being able to access the internet, not being able to do your papers, to do your research. You start out as a handicap. Um, I could not imagine if my son didn't, ha didn't have a computer as he went through college, um, how much it would have impacted him. And so when you have a partnership like TechFin, these are uh, professionals in a technology industry that this is not their job. They don't do this for a living. They said, you know what, someone was there for us. We're going to go back and have this nonprofit where we will refurbish these skills, these computers, use the skills that we acquired so that we can fix these computers and give them back to you, you know, free of charge and nothing but their love and commitment. And I, I'm really impressed with what they're doing, and I hope that it plants to see that when you go on to become whatever profession you want, you're going to remember that whole mindset of giving back. So the computers um, have been sourced from corporate donations and refurbished with software to support students and their parents. Um, we're here um, at one of my favorite places, and this is only beginning the things that we're going to do in the school at Boys and Girls High School uh, here in Bedford-Stuyvesant. 60 students will receive personal computers, uh, workstations to uh, take home, uh, and it's loaded with uh, Adobe, uh, Adobe Acrobat, um, antivirus software, open office, and Windows 7.0. Um, all of this software, the items that they need as they go on with their daily uh, classroom assignment. And when you look at the numbers, the numbers are horrific. In 2015, American Community Survey, only 52% uh, of households with annual incomes less than $25,000 have a desktop or laptop at, at home. Uh, that is a disheartening number, and we're trying to do something about it, one computer at a time. And we can allow um, children to have the chasm of the digital divide, especially when um, the resources are here. And it's just about connecting people. Uh, not only do I consider myself to be the borough president, I like to say I'm the connector in chief, bringing together the resources with those who are in need in a very real ways. Um, computers have been donated. Uh, to TechFin from, co from companies such as uh, Edmund Optics, Endeavor, JetBlue, Millennium, Medical, and, Fi and Pfizer. Corporate uh, PCs, when these young people get to PCs, when they open the PCs up, they're not going to find the corporate secrets that's on there. These, these computers are cleaned and they're flushed out by the TechFin's crew and they are repurposed, still operating, great machines. Corporate America normally allows um, three or four years um, before they decide to move on to the next model, but they're great computers and they're going to do all the things that these young people want. To ensure the security of the donor and the computer's ultimate recipient, TechFin uses a power wipe to perform a declassified uh, wiping of the computer. This uh, power wipe is at the same level of the U.S. Department of Defense uh, standards. It actually exceeds those standards. Uh, TechFin has acquired, revitalized, and de deployed hundreds of computers uh, throughout the city. In 2018, their goal is to increase the number and just continue to move forward. And I'm really proud to work with this team and what they're doing. And we're asking people out there uh, that have a corporation or a company, no matter how large or small, to donate their computers uh, to TechFin so they can put it to great use. Um, we are uh, going to email their, their information, but you can also email me at ask, ask Eric at Brooklyn uh, uh, BP 
www.nyc.gov, and we'll, give, we'll turn that over later for information. This initiative is unbelievable. Um, every strike of the keyboard, um, every search, uh, every search engine, every utilization of knowing how to operate the computer steps our young people into a high technological environment of America. It's no longer an option. Um, can you use a computer? You cannot go on a job and someone asks you for the basic skills and you must have some form of computer skills. And if we don't ensure uh, that uh, these young people have the skills that they need, uh, they're never going to acquire the things that, you, that we expect of them. And, and that is why this is such an important initiative. And the boxes behind us, uh, they say Home Depot, but they have computers in them, you know. So it's not the building block of a hammer and nail to build a house. It's the building block of technology to build someone's mind and opportunity and move them in a direction so they would be prepared for college, able to move through college in a seamless fashion and become employable in a gainfully employable fashion so they too can join people like um, our partners here at TechFin and give back in a real way. So I want to introduce uh, you know, uh, two, just two great guys, and they're only uh, representative of their entire board, and they'll give you more background on that. Uh, I want to introduce uh, Nigel uh, Frankson and co-founder and, chair, and the chairperson of TechFriend. Hi, thank you. Um, as, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the uh, Brooklyn Borough President's Office uh, of Eric Adams um, for his support in all of this. Without his support, this deployment would not have been possible. Um, secondly, I would just like to reiterate, TechFin, in essence, uh, collects corporate used but unwanted corporate PCs. We revitalize them and distribute them to low-income families who may not be able to afford them otherwise. That is our mission. It's simple, it's quantifiable, it's transparent, uh, it's efficient. And um, I implore any corporations out there who may see what we do and need a home for their unwanted computer hardware, please consider technology for families in need. Uh, to the recipients today, uh, enjoy the computers. Please keep in mind that they are indeed workstations. If you load them up with video games and, and videos and music, th they will fail you. They were not designed for that. Um, but if you use them to take online classes, do your schoolwork, apply to colleges, I think you'll be happy with the machines. Um, that's all I have to say for today. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, our director of IT and operations is Antoine uh, Simons. Uh, he's the brains behind TechFin. He's the architect behind all, all of this. Um, Antoine, if you have anything yes, to please, add. Man. Thank you, guys. Um, tackle Nigel's sentiments. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank uh, Brooklyn Borough President Mr. Eric Adams for having us here. I think he made a very valid point in saying that he's the connector in chief. Um, I've not been the boys and girls in a very long time. Years and years <laughs> later, here I am. So. Um, that's good to know. And I, I don't want to repeat what was e echoed up here, but one thing I do want to add to TechFin's mission is, you know, it's more of a uh, Br Brooklyn Borough President alluded to a tool being handed to children. Well, well, another part of the process as the IT director is we bring in uh, volunteers from local colleges and high school to be a part of that rehab rehabilitation process. So not only are they getting the tool that they need to do the job, but then they have the skill set to leverage the job. So it's all about building that community. So, you know, we talked about hardware donors, but you can get involved by just... Um, going on to uh, www.techfin.com and asking how you can be a part. Dot org. Tech-fin.org. www.techfin.org. Tech-fin.org. We'll get that right. You know, uh, amazing uh, to, to, to men and the entire board, um, what they're doing, and just the connectivity that we're making uh, with the uh, uh, students and uh, their donors. And we, we want to also, um, I have been um, uh, impressed from the time I walked into school uh, with the principal, Principal Gresham Harris Walker, uh, Boys and Girls High School. She a asked, actually raised this to us when we met about a month ago. And we immediately uh, moved into motion. Your principal is always talking about you, taking it to the next level. And, you know, just giving you the quality. Uh, when you walk into this building and you walk into the school, all three of the schools here, great team of principal, she's, she's giving you 
a public school, private school ed education, a public school facility. Right. This is a qualitative uh, principal um, with the quality that's needed. And so, principal, please come and say a few words. Well, first, I must say that I am extremely humbled. I just have to take a moment and really thank the borough president. One of the things that he said, he is the connector in chief, but I always think about him in terms of wellness, health and wellness, because that is, as I know, one of his passions. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about health and wellness here at Boys and Girls High School, we talk about educating the mind, the body, and the soul. So we think that it's very important to continue to provide our young people with the tools that we know will help them to succeed. We have so many families that are excited and also just humbled by this generous donation from TechFin, and we cannot thank you enough. For many of our families, they may not have been able to provide their children with some of this technology, so they are truly grateful and on their behalf, I thank you, and I thank the borough president once again for his continued commitment to Boys and Girls High School and to the community at large. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for what you do. You know, these, these computers are so important. Tech Fins donation, every key that is struck is a key that's going to open the doors of opportunity. And that is why these refurbished community com computers is something that these students are going to welcome and appreciate. We have great two students who are going to speak on uh, the behalf of the students. Um, and their names are easy to remember because it's Imani and Armani. <laughs> okay. Whoever wants to go first. Um. <laughs> um. Introduce yourself. My name is Armani. I'm a sophomore, and I'm from East New York. Um, my name is Imani, and I'm a senior, and I'm from Crown Heights. Crown Heights. Crown Heights. <laughs> um, we both, during our parent teacher conference, we were both given the opportunity to receive a computer. So something like that doesn't always happen. So yeah. when the offer was given, we went for it. Yeah. Um, we're very excited. Um, for my personal experience. My computer doesn't work at home at all, and for me to have this opportunity to get a free computer is amazing. I'm so happy. Um, I'm so glad I could do homework at home. I'm at home, you know, help with my college information, all that stuff. From it's way much better than coming to school and going to the library. Well, the library is a great source, but it's so much better to have homework, work, do homework at home from my computer. Yeah, with most of our stuff nowadays being with technology. Have, not having it is it's a disadvantage for a lot of kids, but getting the opportunity to get one, it puts you on the right step to continue on through high school and college, whatever else you might need to. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Both of you. Uh, to to uh, articulate very well, you know, the, um, and I thought, I thought that uh, Imani, right? Imani raised a very good point. I think sometimes we take for granted um, when you are rushing to get that term paper done, when you are rushing to get the homework assignment done, when you're rushing to get the research done, if your counterpart across town merely just wakes up in the morning, flips on the computer, but you have to travel downtown, you can't do it on the weekends because the school is closed or the library is full, uh, it really is an impediment for you to reach your full potential. And so this is a major opportunity. 60 of our young people will have that impediment removed because TechFin saw the importance of saying we want to give back in a real way. So again, we want to thank TechFin. Let's give these guys a round of applause. <laughs> and thank our great principal for allowing us to make this connection. <laughs> well, we'll open the floor to any questions at this time if you have any. Okay, I guess we did a good job. What I wanna, <laughs> and you can, you can do a one-on-one -on -one with any of our students that's here or any of the representatives from TechFin as well. 